Queen, you're watching Indie Music Phoenix. I'm here with No Use for a Name. Uh, this is Tony and Dave. How did you score a free show here at the Tap? How did that ever come about? A heard, small heard, venue like this. Yeah, I've heard Yucca Tap, I've heard Yucca Tap, and Yucca Tap. Which one is it? <laughs> <laughs> anybody? Anybody? Where's uh, Where's uh, Rodney? Uh, he might know. Correct. Uh, no. Um, you know what? Uh, Mike lives here. He's our manager, Mike Leonard, and uh, you know it was a it was a question of like you know do you just want to just play a bar show? We were doing this short tour, and our album's been out for a while, so we kind of just wanted to do something cool for people, you know, and just play intimate shows, and just uh, you know pack them out and sell them out. And then there was this you know I mean there's some money involved too. I mean they're going to give us money to play for free because they're giving us money off the bar. You know what I mean? Because they're going to sell a lot of drinks tonight. I mean they already have I think. How many people do you expect to show up tonight? I just think it's going to be packed. They say they can get 400 in there. We'll see. The problem is, is that, and if you have a cutaway right now, you can cut away to uh, some film of the bar itself. There's a square in the middle, right. you know, and right. and that that's really not conducive with um, with there being a lot of people. So 400. Mm, good luck. <laughs> I hear you're going on a big uh, European tour. So we're going to some new countries this time. We're going to uh, Croatia, Romania, Greece, and Israel, we found out today, of all places. Um, so Bulgaria as well. So that's going to be cool. I mean, we're so fortunate to be able to be a band that just can go and tour a lot of places in the world and, and draw a significant amount of people. I mean, the States right now is probably our worst market, you know? And the States is a bad market for a lot of bands, you know what I mean? It's just because it's in uh, with the new, out with the old. Well, there's just, there's a lot of traffic, you know. And Nobody's really committed to their band, you know what I mean? Like they used to be, like, like, like in the 80s or the 90s when you're just like, I'm a Van Halen fan and I don't care if their new album sucks. I love them, you know, just like that kind of thing. And, it's not like that anymore. I mean, there's so many games going on in the music industry, and it's really here, and it's it's not happening in Europe. It's not happening in Japan, Australia, yes, South is, America. I mean, he's absolutely right. What's going on in the United States is very specific to the United States, you know. So uh, we're very lucky that we can kind of avoid it, bypass it, still have a good time in the U.S., do shows like this, be with our friends, keep it intimate, and then, you know, travel overseas and, and do what we do. I'm hoping that our new president can improve the overall attention span of the United States of America. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, did your uh, theme uh, of, of your music get, getting into politics more and more, was that something that evolved naturally or did you guys make a deliberate decision to kind of be more political? I, I think as you get older you get angrier about politics and, you, and, and when, you, when you own a house and stuff like that you start you start getting bitter about so many things. You start looking into laws and things like that, and <laughs> <laughs> and then I, and then I have two kids, and he has a kid too, you know. And 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 when you're when you when you know that their future is in somebody's hands, like a George W. Bush, you 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 want to take them out of that world, you know. I mean, it made me seriously consider wanting to move to Europe. I mean, I'm I'm a citizen of, of Europe, and so is my wife, and so we could move there if we wanted to. You know, and our kids are too. So we could we could move there if we wanted to. But it's like, I love this country. You know what I mean? And I'm willing to stick by it if we can get the right guy in the, in the office. And how many albums do you have out now? Do you know? Nine. Studio. Yeah, nine or ten studio records. Nine studio. Is a live record too. Right on. It's um, the feel good record of the year. Very so nice. That's what it's called. Right. We couldn't decide. We had two. We had two album titles. So if anybody hears this, you can't take this because we got a copyright on it, and it might be the title of our next album. But it was a toss-up between that and the other white album. <laughs> <laughs> and in hindsight, I'd really like the other title, you know. But it, you get too uh, conservative when you come down the line because you're like, oh, this precious recording. It needs the perfect title that nobody can misconstrue as like. <laughs> You know, you're the you think you're the Beatles or something. And no, it's, no, we don't. It's, it's the other white album, like the other white me.
Our MySpace is MySpace. Uh, MySpace.com My slash Nerdist for name. Yeah, and then um, he's got a cool solo project, uh, side project called um, The Innocent. It's a good metal band. Tell us about The Innocent. Uh, the Innocent is it's me, a uh, singer for a band called Bleeding Through, a bass player from The Distillers, and the drummer from At The Gates. Very cool. Is it punk or what kind of? It's thrash metal. And then I'm doing some acoustic stuff by myself. I got my first show in San Francisco on December 20th. And uh, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna do like two no use for name songs. The ratio would probably be two no use for name songs to eight like new songs that no one's ever heard before. So now with like over 20 years of songs, how do you pick them out for a set list? Do you just do your latest, or how do you uh, with all the material you have to choose from? How do you pick out a set list? Whoever it gets pawned off on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's definitely one of those things where like I, it's usually me. I'm always usually writing the set list, you know. And, and I like to make it different. And it, when, it, when it's pushed on me, like, you make the set list like that, I always like to throw in songs that I know our drummer will hate playing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, any last uh, parting words before we do some shout-outs? Uh, love Phoenix. Love Tempe. Love uh, Arizona. I think it's a great state. Too bad your boy didn't win, but uh, maybe next time. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dave from No Use For Name, and this is Tony, and you're watching Indie Music Phoenix.